everyone and welcome back to another episode of the max ac channel to celebrate the spooky season for the month of october we will be doing spooktober where we'll be making five more recipes that will surely be frightening and delicious for this episode we finish up the spooky celebration with a return to the necro nom 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 with the recipe me go to go For this recipe, you will need four large portobello mushrooms, some extra virgin olive oil, some salt, some freshly ground black pepper, some garlic powder, two large beefsteak tomatoes, four slices of sharp or smoked cheddar, or any other type of sliced cheese you like, two ciabatta bread rolls, or any other type of bread sliced into four pieces, four large cashews, four blackberries, some fresh thyme, and some fresh dill. This is enough for four sandwiches, so adjust your amounts accordingly. First, prepare a small pot of water to boil your cashews. Then, while we wait, remove the stems from the mushrooms and then wash and dry them. Next, drizzle some olive oil on both sides of the mushrooms. Then, season both sides of the mushrooms with one pinch each of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Once you're ready, place the mushrooms in a frying pan over high heat and cook both sides for about 5 minutes or until the mushrooms are nice and toasted. While we wait, the water should be boiling by now, so turn off the heat and soak your cashews until they soften. Alternatively, you can soak them overnight, but boiling them is obviously much faster. While we wait for them to soften, slice the tomatoes to the size of the portobello mushrooms, and if you need to, you can slice your bread at this time as well. Then for the tomato slices, repeat the same coating as the mushrooms, use the olive oil to drizzle, and then season with a pinch each of salt, pepper, and garlic powder on both sides. When your mushrooms are done, place a tomato slice on top of each mushroom, and then put a lid on top of the pan, and allow two minutes for the tomato slices to soften. Next, add the cheddar slices to the top of the tomatoes. Cover the pan again and remove from the heat, and wait until the cheese is completely melted. Then, remove the mushroom stacks from the pan, and place one stack on each of the ciabatta slices. You may then optionally slice the bread into a circular shape to better fit the mushroom stack. Remove the cashews from the water, and then add the cashew body and blackberry heads to each sandwich, along with the dill wings and thyme claws, placed in the shape of a migo. Finally, drizzle the stacks with the pan drippings, and your migo to go is ready to eat. Thank you. 
Last October, we got all of our recipes from the Necro Nom Nom Nom. So for this Spooktober, I wanted to try some other recipes that I had found online. But since we had an extra day this month, I thought that we could return to the world of HP Lovecraft for our last episode. I really love the recipes in this book, since the author did a really good job at making recipes that pay homage to their creepy origins while also remaining delicious. For example, Migos are described as winged fungal creatures that resemble crustaceans with large claws and heads covered in a mass of ringed pyramids covered with short antennae who are about the size of a human. And I think that this recipe captures the appearance of them really well, apart from their size of course, with the use of the blackberry head, cashew body, and herbal appendages. And I also like the use of the portobello mushroom to reference the Migos fungal makeup. Speaking of which, in terms of how it tastes, the savory and salty mushrooms and cheese pair well with the sweet tomatoes and blackberries, creating a quite unique and delicious treat for your Halloween party. So, even if your guests are unaware of its origins, the Migo to go will be sufficiently spooky and equally enticing to eat. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let me know how it went. If you decided to make it, let me know if there's anything you want to make next. Like the video, share with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes of the Max AC channel. And remember, if you want to stay cool in the kitchen, turn your AC to the max and watch the Max AC channel. Necro nom nom nom.